Hello everybody, my name is Merc, and today once again I am playing Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. Um, today, I'm gonna do the rest the of levels in the Emerald Brine. Um, just because I can, but it looks like I guess I have to go through an alternate exit to get to this level, so let's go do that. We're going to enter the Salty Bath. And maybe I can set a high score, I'm not really hoping for it. Don't... Don't forget to complete the rest of your bit trip. What's that supposed to mean? For like a complete breakfast? Alright, I basically need 1.8 mil to ever get a high score here. Is that ever gonna happen? No, not at all. But we can try. <laughs> Apparently, I can't even handle the first challenge in the game, so whatever. She has some pretty funny dancing animations, of course. I'm uh, spamming the dance button. Oh my god! Ah, is this going to be one of those videos where I'm just going to fail on the first level over and over? Maybe I shouldn't be spamming this dance button because I can't handle it. I can't handle the dance button. It's too much for me. Alright. I almost danced right there. Oh my god, and I still lost. Okay, alright. This like I beat this level. Uh, apparently I perfected it, so this shouldn't be difficult in the slightest. Maybe I shouldn't uh, ever touch that dance button. Because, like I said, apparently I can't handle that type of input. It's too much for my puny brain to handle. Alright, we're getting the first core. And we're going to keep an eye out for the alternate exit. So that I can go to the level that I missed. I might do some of the super nature in this video, depending on how quickly I beat these levels. I might not. We shall see. We are going to get the checkpoint because I'm terrible. And we're gonna get, I think, the third core? It's not as clear what core it is, uh, depending on your, damn it, on your rainbow background, I should I, I wanna call it, you know, the rainbow that follows you. It's not, like, it's, it seems like it was clearer in uh, Bitrip Runner what state you were at. Okay, this looks like this would be the alternate exit. Gotta kick that down. Oh, god damn it, why did I let go of down? Alright, well, at least I know where to go. Me and Command Girl video are gonna get this alternate exit and potentially beat the next level. That's the plan, but anyone who's familiar with my videos knows that my plans never really work out. All right, all right, all right. Oh shit! Okay, that worked. That worked. Oh, that was scary. Oh, that was scary too. Okay, okay, okay. Duck. Keep ducking. Duck jump. Okay, kick. Sweet. Alright, that wasn't so hard. Alternate exit. Alright, no cannon for me. I don't know if I got perfect. I'm assuming not, since usually that's what no cannon means. Oh man, I am missing a lot of gold bars. I guess you can't get perfect if you go through alternate exits. On some levels, at least. That level for sure. After you beat the key vault. Oh yeah, I probably should beat the key vault. A new friend awaits. Oh sweet. Salty splendor. Gonna get my fishy friend. He smells a little bit, but that's okay. Alright. Oh, that was close. Got a spike in my bum, but... She's used to it. <laughs> oh, that was unexpected. Oh, God. Should I go up? There is a gold bar up there, but I'm not quite sure if I want to go up or not. Hmm. Again, we're having to deal with these beats where I have to block. Block the beats. The beat, blo beat blocks? Yeah. That makes sense, right? Right. This time we're going over here just to see what I can do. Okay, I guess nothing. Ah! I guess I can go over there and get hit in the face by a swinging ball. Which is like a regular Monday morning for me, basically. <laughs> Alright. So, um, I'm not quite sure which path is easier, but I guess this one would be. But I guess I get more points for blocking those beats up there. Alright. So far so good. This level doesn't seem too difficult, even though I've botched it a number of times already. There's a checkpoint, I'm gonna get it. Because I want to get my fishy friend. Whatever his name is. Alright. Um, should I go down? I don't know! There's too many choices in this game! <laughs> Up or down, it's so complicated. Oh, okay. Almost done the level, I'm assuming. 
Yep, just looked at my gold bar account. I have to be almost done. Doing pretty good. Sweet. And I got perfect, as far as I know. I got all my cores. Yes, I did. So let's use the built tough Ford cannon. Built Ford tough. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Alright. Do I get my fishy friend now? Reverse Merman, that is his name. I was hoping it was a little more creative than that, but that's cool. That's cool. I guessed it when I first saw him that he is the reverse merman. Or the opposite merman. I think I might have actually called him reverse merman. We shall uh, switch characters, of course. And get a loading screen and play as the reverse merman. Does he have like a whole tail? I'm not even sure. Or if it's just like some sort of a uh, um, loincloth type thing. Even though it's not really loincloth. I guess it is just like a loincloth thing. I don't know, I do see a tail nub underneath. I'm hoping that's a tail nub anyway. Otherwise, this reverse merman has balls. And it, Oh god! I should check out his kick animation. <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> when he slides, he goes face first. And his kick when he slides is like a headbutt. Alright. I want to headbutt that, that uh, barrier, I guess. Okay. Uh, he somehow blocks, like, with, with the power of his mind. There was a treasure chest there that I missed. But I will go back for those later. Eventually. I like how he slides face first. Oh, that was close. A little too close. Oh, there was a dead shark back there. Uh, good thing he was dead, otherwise I'd be uh, his dinner right now. Alright. I like how fast his legs move. I haven't really noticed the... The speed that other legs move for the other characters, I mean. But it seems like he's running faster. Well, not running faster, of course, but... Oh, and he has uh, orange stink lines. Which is cool. Alright. That was pretty easy. Of course, I could've probably danced. Oh, look at his dance animation, that's awesome. <laughs> he does the... The frog, um... Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, my rectum gal. Oh, I'm really hoping that's his tail right there. <laughs> wow, that's a interesting picture to say the least. I wouldn't call that perfect. I missed the treasure chest. I might even go just go back for that treasure chest. Oh, uh, let's go to the key vault since I can. Oh, but I guess I can't. I need to go do the alternate exit. There's no penalty for playing easier difficulty. My friends will know, so don't say that that they won't. Uh I'm liking the animations. Excuse me. I'm liking the animations for this uh, fishy guy. Reverse merman. All right. Oh, that was close. Oh, there is that secret level. Okay. Again, I'm not gonna get those retro levels until afterwards. I will. Uh, hopefully, someone will make a list, and I'll look them up, and then I'll just go and expedite the process of. Uh, getting to them, and you know, not just going through every level and worrying if there's one in every level. I'll make someone else do the hard work, and I will benefit from it. <laughs> That's life in a nutshell. Alright, so let's go to the alternate exit, which is down here. Get the core, dodge these robots with boxing gloves. Oh, it's a little scary, but I'm doing okay. Alright. So, now we're going to go to the Key Vault, as soon as uh, it lets me. <laughs> Nowhere near perfect, well, I guess kind of near. Nowhere near enough. So let's go to the Key Vault, and we shall hopefully beat this level, of course. I don't know if, if any of the levels we're going to do have keys in them, of course, but just in case. I will get the keys unlocked. Unlock the keys, that's a weird thing to say. We need the keys to unlock the keys. Alright, oh, I can't believe I jumped that damn gold bar. How does he hold on to the bar when he's underneath? He has no arms! Well, I guess he does have fins. Like, watch. How is he holding on? He's holding on with his, like, spikes. Or, I guess his fin? Oh, that was terrible. 
That dance is pretty awesome. Also, I looked it up. Um, the dance that the Uncle Dill does when he's like idle at the after you make a mistake at the checkpoint. It is the Charleston where he plays with his knees, I guess. I don't know what else to put that. But I looked it up because I was curious, and it is the Charleston. I was very surprised that I, you know, actually got the Ah Stairs, my only weakness. Says the fish. Alright. Okay. It's not so bad this part. I'm still pretty terrible at these looped loops. And these squarety squares. But that one I did perfect. Still love the squarety square name, of course. Can't not like it. Oh, that was close. Okay. Thought I screwed up, but I didn't. I kept on. I persevered. We're going up here for whatever reason. Although I feel like I'm missing something substantial down there, even though it didn't really look like it. I might have. Alright, perfected that squarety square once again. Oh, that was a big jump. So there's like five different types of springs, apparently. I would I would list them off because or, but I would list them off, but that would be uh, tedious. And uh, I'm already these videos are tedious enough. I don't need to. All oh, the keys in the Emerald Brine have been revealed, says the floating barrel in the water. I didn't know you guys could talk, but yeah, mouths, so that makes sense. Just one gold bar. That's a shame. But oh well. We're gonna go on to this level, which is a salty sprint. Put your mouth around a burger, mouth brand burger, mouth burger. That's probably like the best thing I've ever read. <laughs> I think I'm seeing too many of these double messages, unfortunately, in the top right during the loading screens. Which means that I have nothing to talk about during the loading screens. But every time I see that double, that mouth brand, mouth burger, brand, bur mouth burger message, I'm going to read it. Because eventually it'll get stuck in my head and that'll be my saying for the rest of my life. I don't know what that means. You should tell me, because I don't. <laughs> oh, shit. I just like the way it uh, rolls off the tongue. It's like a tongue twister. I guess it is a tongue twister. It isn't like one. It actually is one. Alright, that was pretty okay, I guess. Oh, that was not. For some reason, I felt like letting go of down. Seriously, though, that little tail nub underneath is uh, sending the wrong message, in my opinion. <laughs> it looks awfully similar to just a sack. And that is not cool, Mr. Merman. You, shouldn't, you should wear some pants. It seems like you are wearing pants, but I really don't think you are. You're wearing sandals. You can wear some pants, man. If you feel it's necessary to wear sandals, then we feel it's necessary to wear pants. Did I not hit the spring the first time I did that jump? I feel like I didn't. But nonetheless, I'm not going up there anymore. Because apparently, I can't handle that little spring and then ducking underneath afterwards. It's way too much. Too much info to process. Alright. So far so good. We're not going up that spring that's going to be coming up. We are going to go to the easy path right here. Alright. So far so good. It was close. Oh, there's the key. Ah, Of course. Of course there's the key. Now I want to figure out what's over there. And there is the lock. Hmm. Now I'm very curious. And there was the crane on the roller coaster. I like the backgrounds in this uh, world because they're more varied, I guess, than the, the previous world was anyway. The Welkin Wonderland. Oh, I thought I missed that one, but I didn't, so that's good. And there is a treasure chest, so I almost just want to go and redo this level. Depending on what uh, what the length is of this video, when I finish the rest of the levels, I will maybe redo this one. Because it seemed like it wasn't so difficult. Although I didn't take the hard path, so I could be entirely wrong. Nice, I think I, yeah, I did get the bullseye. And I can't help but stare at that damn sack. It's just, it's just, it's unsettling. <laughs> Alright. Again, I wouldn't call missing treasure chest and key perfect, but whatever floats your boat. And we're going to the Aquatic Symphonic. Symphonic. Aquatic Symphonic. Clicked all 40 treasures to unlock something. Alright, cubic feet once again on the top. Oh, look, a pelican. That's the first time I've ever seen pelicans. Well, I don't know about that, but I, have, I don't recall seeing pelicans in this game. 
Yeah, it's the first time I've ever seen a pelican ever, and I knew what the name was. That's, that's what I was saying right there. Alright. Just keep sliding face first. Could you imagine the chin burn that you would have? Aw, oh, man. That sucks. When he dies, he should have a better animation. That was like from I just saw the animation looked okay, but he should like flop around like he you know fish out of water. Oh, I can't believe I missed that cold bar. Next time you die, watch his animation, and he just like looks like he's kind of swimming through the air. I'd prefer if he was like flopping. That'd have been hilarious. All right. Okay. Slide kick, 100 obstacles. Oh, I got the key. Got the key. Might as well go check out what the key path is, since I got the key. Ooh, that was close. Okay, key. Oh man, I was too focused looking at the key path to realize that I had to kick something, man. Kick it with my face. Face kicker. I don't know how that works, but it works. Okay. That was close. It's a little risky going for that gold bar, but I did it. Okay, this is scary. Oh, I got the treasure chest. Get blue. Ah, oh, I was too busy reading the bottom right. Do I still have the treasure chest? It looks like I do in the top right. So I almost just want to go to the easy path. I'm going to go to the easy path. I'm pretty sure I got the treasure chest. And if I don't, then I'm going to be pretty pissed off at this game for lying to me. Although it's a little weird that you could get the treasure chest and go die and then go back and do this part of the level. Yeah, the treasure chest is open. I missed the core. That's not good. Damn it. I didn't do that on purpose, just because I missed that core. I would have kept going. I have missed a core before. Once or twice. Ah! I got up into the fireball, man. Alright. So, we have confirmed that I don't need to go back down to the hard path to get that treasure chest, so we're going back up here. And this time we're going to get that core after we have to jump down, and this time I'm actually going to jump down rather than fall and not get the core. Ah! Oh! Man, those guys are the worst. It's always just me not ducking enough is what my main killer is in this game. Like, the main cause of death is just he's not ducking, he's not sliding. You should just hold down all the time. Too bad this game doesn't want to let you do that. Okay, I got it. got the core. Alright. Go up here. Okay, slide. Ah! <gasps> Again, one of those situations where you have to get up to get the gold bar. So you have to go like that real quick. At least it's like almost inst instantaneous when you let go of the down button that he gets up. Not near instantaneous enough, I'm afraid. I'm gonna check out that costume once I finally beat this level. I'm assuming it's costume. Maybe it's a blue fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Damn it, I missed a gold bar. So I'm not even gonna care about these gold bars when it comes to the fireballs. Except for that one, because that one was easy. <laughs> Alright. That was not an amazing accomplishment. Man, getting a degree in something, that's an amazing accomplishment. Well, depending on the degree, I would say. But anyway, beating a level in Runner. Oh, what? I missed the treasure chest? Do you really have to... Okay, let's, let's go check out the characters. Yep, I don't have the co... Oh, no, I do. It's for this guy, though. Oh well, okay, whatever. I guess I can't see that costume yet. Um, yeah, I do have a bit of time left in this video, so I'm going to go back to the salty sprint, and I'm going to go check out and see if I can uh, tap down on the bottom of the rail to let go. I did know that, but thank you. I'm going to try to get the costume, which involves me taking the hard paths, because there's two of them in this level, if I remember correctly. And that'll be the end of the video for this episode. I know last episode I said I was going to the Supernature, but I changed my mind. I wanted to do these extra levels here in the Emerald Brine. So next video I will go to World 3 in the Supernature. Alright, we're going to the hard path. Hold up. Duck. Oh, I missed a gold bar. What shall I do with myself now that I missed that gold bar? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I really don't like those springs, the ones that are not embedded in the ground. They are an extra challenge that I do not need. Because I am already challenged enough, mentally and physically. Not really, but I would say I'm pretty challenged by this game right now. Because apparently, I can't handle it. I wonder how many times I've said I can't handle this. 
<laughs> in this game. Or apparently, for that matter. So I feel like I say that a lot. Alright, I'm gonna fuck this up. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, I gotta jump a little tiny bit earlier so I have more time to jump later. And of course, that area is right before the checkpoint too. So every time I screw that up, I have to go back to the start of this damn level. Okay. Alright. Oh my god! Sweeney ball to the face! Pretty sure it counts your stats. Um, well, I know it counts your stats, but I'm not quite sure if it counts all your deaths. I kind of hope it does, because I want to check that out one day. Maybe after this Let's Play. Check out how many times I died. Probably... A thousand plus? <laughs> Definitely not a thousand plus already. I'm just, I'm just making a joke. Or an assumption, I guess. But then, you know what they say about assumptions. Something involving asses. Right? Right. Oh god, okay, that was close. That was close, I did it. Get in the checkpoint. And we gotta go through another hard mode path. Which is right here. Now that we have the key. Oh, opening a lock with the key gives you more points, so it's good to know. If I ever want to score attack. Oh, that was... I didn't think I was gonna make that, so I preemptively gave up. And uh, didn't ready myself for the next jump. So that was entirely my bad. Again, implying that the rest of my mistakes weren't my bad. Ah, that was just awful. Alright, come on, Reverse Merman. I really wish you had a more creative name. Because we get that you're Reverse Merman. That's that's the joke, I get it. But you gotta have a, a good name. Like Uncle Dill. Although, I guess Uncle Dill's not really... Ah, oh, goddammit. A creative name. The uncle is, I guess. But he is the Dill. And, uh, at the start of... Whenever you start off a Bit Trip Runner, or Runner 2, I guess I should say, um, there's like a fake advertisement voiced by Charles Martinet, and uh, when I opened it up today, it was an advertisement for Uncle Dill's dill pickles, and they called them like ground or earth sausages or something like that. It was really awesome. Oh, that was, that this is scary, but I did it. I did it. Clever pickles, sweet. I got another Uncle Dill costume. Check that out before I end this video. And we got a cannon, sweet. I didn't think I perfected that, but apparently I did. So, it's bonus chance. Nice. I'm getting pretty good at that. Well, I guess I am pretty good at that, but the other day I was failing. Pretty hard. Pretty, 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 pretty hard. How What's the uh, high scores here? Out of my league. Oh, I'm third. That's if I danced like twice, I would have been in the top. Like, I almost just want to go redo this level and dance as much as I can. But I'm not going to because <laughs> I already spent enough time in that damn level. Let's go check out the costume. For Uncle Dill. You know what? I will make this an extra long video. I'm gonna... Nice, clever pickle. I'm gonna go and try to, maybe, um, beat this level with a high score. Just because I feel like it's it's, it's it's attainable. Oh, no, it's not. Why is it, why is it lying to me? That guy's two million. Okay, fuck that. Alright, I just wanted to see what Uncle Dill's costume looked like in-game. So I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys liked what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. Like, it helps a lot, man. I have a good number of subscribers, and by good I mean like 60. Woo, I am the greatest. And uh, I will see you all in the next one.